Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out. Pretty much at this point, we're putting out content every 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your business. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also, if you want to connect with me, there's two ways you can do that. You can either book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we jump on Zoom, see where you are with your business, see where, where you want to get to. And I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to jump on a call with me and you simply want to send me a question, then you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. So today's video is I'm going to be talking about a company that I currently work for. So if you haven't heard of Pro Football Academy, okay, they're pretty much currently the biggest private training uh, football academy in the UK. Uh, from the moment I'm recording this video, we have about 85 centres all across the UK, from London to Manchester to Scotland to Wales. Okay, and our goal at the end of the year is hopefully to reach 100 by the end of 2023. Okay, now we've also opened a, a center in Dubai. Okay, so this is a private uh, football academy that we've uh, we branched out, expanded into into Dubai, and we're currently. I think we've got about three or four centers that we are we've just opened in Dubai. So. The, the company is growing week on week, month on month, right? It's looking to expand. Uh, there are some really huge international plans coming forward with, with what, we are, what we are doing as a business, okay? And essentially what I do at the company is I am academy manager for five different centers across the London region, okay? So I wanted to come on here, make this, make this short video to talk about uh, the business lessons you can take from the growth and expansion of Pro Football Academy. Okay, now this isn't a video to try and sell you on Pro Football Academy. This isn't. I haven't been paid anything, right, to, to come on here and and promote and advertise what we do. Okay, I've just taken it on my own accord right i've come on here and i've said you know what there's certain things that the business does really well the company does really well that i know will be beneficial to the coaches that watch our channel on a regular basis okay so i want to share with you three business lessons that i've learned and three business lessons that you can take from pro football academy that will help you to grow and scale your business right so the first one I feel the first business lesson is leadership. Okay, so Pro Football Academy was created and founded by Carlos Roca. Okay, Carlos Roca is my boss. Carlos Roca is the um, managing director at the moment of the company. And he's the one that essentially started the whole uh, company uh, from scratch. Now, something that I admire from him something he does really well and something that when you want to grow and scale your business, you need to have our leadership skills. Now, last year we went up to, to Manchester where the headquarters are based and we did a Academy Managers event where all the ma Academy Managers from all across the centres in the UK, they went up to Manchester we, and Carlos did a presentation with us about our plans to grow and scale. And something that stood out uh, for me in that, in that presentation was his passion, uh, leadership, and also, also vision for the future. So you as a business owner, okay, if you want to grow, scale to the next level with your business, you need to be and you need to demonstrate those qualities, right? You need to be a person that leads from the front. You lead the business, you lead the project, you, you, you lead the dream. Okay, you've also got to be really good at your presentation skills. So when you're talking to parents, right, you have to be able to listen, acknowledge, ask really good questions because parents are going to be reaching out to you to solve a specific problem, 
Okay, they want you to solve a problem that they have, a pain point that their child is going through, and they're looking for your advice, your spe your your specialty, in order to solve that problem. Okay. Also, you know, you need to have a vision. You need to have a plan. Most coaches that I speak to, most coaches that watch our videos, most coaches that reach out to us, okay, don't have a plan with their business. They kind of just go week by week. And they don't really have a vision, uh, a direction that they want their business going in. Okay, so if you want to be that leader, you need to demonstrate passion. You need to demonstrate that you're committed to the to the project, and you need to demonstrate to parents that what you're what you're looking to create and what you have in place at the moment is the best of the best. Okay, because if you can't sell parents on your dream, on your idea on your project, okay, then parents aren't going to be sold. Okay, because ultimately, again, you have to sell parents on what you do is the best for their child. Parents have so many different options today. Okay, they can go anywhere for football training. So you have to be that man that demonstrates passion, demonstrates leadership, and demonstrates that you can get results with their, business, with their child. OK, and ultimately, if you can do that, you know, you will attract high quality customers. You will attract parents who then refer other parents to what you do, OK, because they'll start to like, they'll start to trust and they'll start to believe in your mission, in your plan and in the direction the company is going. OK, so the first thing is leadership. Second one, building a brand. OK, so Pro Football Academy, just like the academy I have as well. Right, these are two brands. And building a brand is really important because it separates yourself from other trainers. Okay, it's not John Smith's coaching or John Smith's soccer coaching or John Smith's football coaching. Okay, it's an actual brand that parents and players can then begin to love and feel connected to. Okay, and branding is really important, right? Branding is so important, especially in today's market where there's a lot of competition, there's a lot of trainers that are trying to do the, you know, similar things. And if you have really good branding and you know how to brand your, your business, you know how to sell and you know how to make your brand separate from everyone else, okay, when parents think of private one-on-one -on -one training or when they think of small group training or when they think of technical or skill development training, okay, they want to think, right, oh, this is the company that we want to try and get our child to train with, right? They want to, they want, I want parents to think of your brand, okay? Because if parents think of your brand, the chances are they will connect with you and they will want to be a customer and part of your brand. Okay. If you think about all the major brands in the world, what they do really well, such as McDonald's, uh, Coca-Cola, okay, uh, you know, Starbucks, um, Apple, you know, these are these are brands that they, you know, they they kind of suck you in and they make you part of you know, the journey and the project that they, they have within the company, right? You want to feel part of that family, which means that that's why you invest money because you believe what that brand does because that brand solves a specific problem that you have, okay? Whether it be McDonald's, whether it be Apple, whether it be Coca-Cola, okay? Whatever major brand is out there, that's the the where you have to go with your training business. When parents think of private training, they need to be thinking of what you do, okay? Whether they came across your Instagram page, whether they came across your website, okay? Or they saw you on a flyer, okay? They have to start to feel attached to your brand, your messaging, and what you represent as a company, okay? So something Pro Football Academy, I feel, does really well. They brand him. Is super good, right? If you go onto their Instagram page, okay, you know, you you start to feel uh, close to what they do, 
Okay, if you go onto their Facebook as well, you've got lots of parents that engage with their content. And you know, the quality of branding is really good. The use of imagery is very good. Uh, the fact that they have multiple centers across the country means that parents have that type of training accessible wherever they are in the country. And hopefully, you know, across the world, which is the mission we have uh, coming up. So first of all, leadership skills. Second, right, building a brand, not just John Smith's uh, football coaching. Right, you want to feel you want to create a brand that is unique, that separates yourself from the competition and that pe people and parents and customers know where to go when they have a problem. OK, now the third thing, right, the third business lesson that you can learn from a Pro Football Academy or PFA is essentially systems. OK, so I know working in the company that PFA has a pretty good system in place, right? They've got a pretty good team uh, trained. They've got a pretty good system in place. So from the moment a parent signs up for a trial session at one of our nationwide academies, okay, to the moment they get offered a spot, to the moment they register, everything is a system that works like a clock. Okay, that works pretty much automatically now. And that's why, then that's what allows them to grow so quickly. That's also what allows them to uh, attract and register so many players at once. Okay, because if, you know, I'm looking, I'm thinking about the, the five centers that I am a manager at, you know, we average over 50 play, new players per week throughout the week, okay? And that's crazy to think, and that's just five centers that we run in the London region, okay? We've got Manchester, we've got Liverpool, we've got Newcastle, we've got um, areas in the south. Right, imagine 50 new players coming across in one week at multiple centers, that's a lot of traffic that is coming in uh, per week into the company, right? But it works because there's a system in place. So you, as a business owner, in order to have that success and be able to drive a lot of traffic to what you do, right? It doesn't have to be a nationwide company. It, it can be, you know, your, in your local area, but in order to attract that traffic and be able to manage that traffic, okay, in a really successful way, you need to have systems. So what's your, the, how do parents reach out to you? How do parents uh, register onto, or, or register their interest into your, into your program? How do you follow up with parents that have registered for maybe a free trial session? And how do you then close those parents who have come to your trial session? Do you get them on the phone? Do you have an automated system where you send them uh, feedback? You send them a link that they can register. Right? What are the things that you're doing currently that make your business work really well? And to the point where if you had 100 new players come into your, your company now, are you able to manage that okay, easily? Okay? If the answer is no, Maybe that's something to look at and something to improve. If the answer is yes, then all we need to do is we need to now step it up to make it even easier and even even smoother so that you can scale to the next level, right? So that you don't just need to limit yourself to 100 ki new kids per week. You can start to attract 500, 1,000, okay? And you can 10x your business, get to that next level and start adding new clients every single month. Okay. So hopefully this video helps you. Um, like I said, it's not, I'm not trying to advertise or promote on behalf of Pro Football Academy. Um, I've been with the business now with the company for over seven months. Okay. Like I said, we run, I personally am Academy Manager at Five Centers. We've got over 85 uh, centers all across the United Kingdom. 
I'm looking to branch out now internationally. So I've gained a lot of value from the experience. I've also, you know, been part of the opening of various centers across my region. So I've seen the insight how how to open a center, how to market a center, and how to start to build and, and, and scale a, you know, your a training, a football training program. Okay. So again, if you need to contact me, get in contact with me. There's two ways you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call through Zoom. We'll jump on Zoom and answer your questions and see where you're currently at. Or if you don't want to do that, then just send me questions to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you for watching and make sure before you go subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all our latest content.